Hey all it's Eddie Chung here and in this video I'm going to teach you how to fix class is not key value coding compliant. When you get this error it will show up an app delegate like this with this thread one signal error and then you can scroll up in your console here. So if you scroll up in your console it will say this class is not key value coding compliant for table view. If you don't have the console open you probably need to click this button down here to make that open and then we can search for this table view by doing command shift F, which will open our global search for our project. Search table view, and we can see that the main.storyboard has a table view uh, connection. And right here, we can see that there's a yellow arrow right beside this. View controller does not have outlet name table view. So that's where our problem is. You can see that our table view here connects to a uh, reference table view in view controller. Now, if we go to our project navigator and then open up our view controller in our assistant editor by holding option, and then clicking on it, and then it'll open up in the side-by-side -side editor here. And we can see that our table view is actually named currency table. So to fix this problem, we can click on table view. Then we go to the last inspector here called the connections inspector. If you don't have the inspector pane open, you can click this button here and it'll open and close. So then now we can just delete this one. And then we can either do a control drag from here on top of currency table like that. And that'll generate this new referencing outlet. Or we could do it from the inspector itself by dragging this plus sign and dragging it over to the currency table. If you have trouble opening these editors side by side, go to the editor, click uh, assistant, and that will open up the side by side editor. Now that our table is connected to the correct outlet and we do command R to run our project again, you can see that the crash is now fixed. And now our app works. I prepared a one page PDF summary of this video, including the most common problems and solutions when using the interface builder. Click on the link below, subscribe to learn more.